another night of carryout, more fast food, more stomach aches. Why not take control of your kitchen and your health? When you cook at home, it's a lot healthier. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make pasta carbonara. Here's what you need. Pasta, pancetta, which is Italian bacon, olive oil, pepper, eggs, salt, parmesan, and garlic. I always like to get a head start when I cook, so I set the water to boil for the pasta before I begin anything else. And most important, when you're boiling water, don't forget to add salt. Dice the pancetta into small pieces. Depending on your personal preference, slice the garlic thinly or dice into small pieces. Next, with five eggs, separate the yolks from the egg whites and place into different bowls. We only want the yolks for this recipe, so dispose of the egg whites. Crack in one whole egg into the yolks just for gusto whisk. Heat the oil and cook the pancetta over medium heat for about three minutes. Add the pasta to boiling water and cook until al dente, about two minutes under what the box recommends. Drain the pasta when it's cooked. Next, put the garlic into the pan with the pancetta. Stir and cook for another three minutes. Then turn off the stove and let it cool. Pour the pasta into a large bowl. Then add the pancetta mixture on top and then stir. Salt and pepper to taste. Now it's time to add the Parmesan cheese to the whisked egg mixture. Don't be shy with the cheese. Use as much as you desire. I love cheese. Whisk egg and the Parmesan cheese together until it becomes creamy. Add the egg and cheese mixture into the pasta and stir. Mmm. Plate and enjoy. Was that so hard? It's pretty easy, right? This will also score big points when you're trying to impress that special someone. For you out there who think that cooking is for your mother, girlfriend, wife, or that special someone you love, man up, dude, and take control of your kitchen. For more tips on grooming, cooking, sex, and all sorts of living advice, check out the Institute of Manhood at przman.com. <laughs>